President Joe Biden addresses Congress tonight as he nears 100 days in office. He's expected to lay out the American Families Plan, a $2 trillion proposal to expand access to pre-K and child care for all Americans. KXAM Politics reporter John Engel looks at the effects on Texas. I don't know if you can see, but you got Zahir and Zachariah. They're three and four. Is Kathy's going to find this blue? Two of Melissa Vasquez's children go to subsidized child care at Bright Beginnings in Northeast Austin. Without that, I probably would be unemployed. God forbid, homeless. President Biden's proposed American Families Plan would cap the cost of child care at 7% of income for low and middle class families. In Texas, there are 123,000 more low income children than available subsidized child care seats. That's according to the advocacy group Children at Risk. There's no way. If I didn't have that assistance, I'll be able to take care of everything, all, the, all my other responsibilities that I have. Biden's plan would also pay for universal pre-K for three and four year olds, which advocates say has a direct positive impact on student performance down the road. In 2019, the Texas legislature passed historic public school funding that included free pre-K for some four year olds, but many still don't qualify and districts have to use local money for three year old pre-K. The E3 Alliance estimates paying for all of them would require doubling or tripling that money. That investment that early on um, could be a lot of money, but it's absolutely worth it when we look at the long term of the need for intervention, the need for remediation, the need for tutoring. It's an option that Melissa Vasquez hopes to have. So if my kids starting at three years old can have access to universal pre-K, I'm in full support of that. I think every child deserves a great education especially if they could start young. John Engel, KXAN News. Republicans in Congress are already expected to oppose the American Families Plan. When combined with the American Jobs and Rescue Plan, they'll cost $6.1 trillion. Live NBC News coverage of the president's address begins at 8 here on KXAN. It includes the Republican response from South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Then our in-depth coverage continues on KXAN News at 10.